afternoon. Welcome to TV Escuela. I am teacher Pearl Faith Pagas from Moncayo National High School, Moncayo West District. Today, we will learn about how to solve problems involving sets using Venn diagram. Are you ready to learn? Then let's begin. When you are a student, what are the things you need for attending classes at school? You're correct. Among the few things that a student should have for attending classes at school include ball pen, paper, notebook, lunch box, allowance, bag, books, school uniform, and school ID. But when COVID-19 pandemic affects our education, there were changes being made in our learning modalities that instead of going to schools, we are advised to stay at home while we continue our education. Hmm. So after the pandemic, what are the things a student need for class? Can we organize them using Venn diagram? Absolutely yes! Can you help me do it? Let's begin! Let's make a Venn diagram of the things a student need for class. With set A, things that a student need for class after the pandemic. And set B, things that a student need for class before the pandemic. You can write your answers on your sheet of paper. Are you done? Yeah! Now let's check the sets in our Venn diagram. For set A, things a student need after the pandemic are modules, mobile phone, mobile data or Wi-Fi, ball pen, paper, notebook, lunchbox, allowance, bag, books, and for set B, things a student need before the pandemic also include ball pen, paper, notebook, lunchbox, allowance, bag, school uniform, and school ID. By looking at the diagram, can you answer the following questions? First question, what is A union B? Correct. The answers are modules, mobile phone, mobile data or Wi-Fi, ball pen, paper, notebook, lunchbox, allowance, bag, books, school uniform, and school ID. What about the second question? What is A intersection B? The answers are ball pen, paper, notebook, lunchbox, allowance, bag, and books. Who got it correctly? Good job! Now that you recall the use of Venn diagram, let's proceed to solve this problem found on page 8 in your modules. A group of 25 high school students were asked whether they used either Facebook or Twitter or both. 15 of these students used Facebook and 12 used Twitter. Here are the questions. How many students used Facebook only? How many students used Twitter only? And how many students use both social networking sites? 
To find the solution for this, I suggest that you use the steps of acronym DEOPA. D stands for determine what are being given and what are being asked. So, here are the given. 25 high school students who were asked whether they used either Facebook or Twitter or both. 15 students who used Facebook and 12 students used Twitter. So what are being asked? How many students use Facebook only? How many students use Twitter only? And how many students use both social networking sites? Next step is I. I stands for illustrate. Illustrate the Venn diagram. Let F is equal to set of students who use Facebook only. Let T set of students who use Twitter only. And let A is equal to the set of students who use both social networking sites. After the I, what comes next? Correct! It's O. O means operations. Decide what operations to be used. So, to obtain B, B is equals to quantity of F plus T minus 25. Sums of F and T minus 25, which is the total number of high school students. B is equal to quantity of 15 plus 12 minus 25. It is by substitution. B is equal to 27 minus 25 by simplifying. Then, B is equal to 2. The set of students who use both social networking sites. To obtain F, F is equal to 15 minus B. Students who used Facebook minus B. F is equals to 15 minus 2 by substitution. Then, F is equal to 13. The set of students who use Facebook only. To obtain T, T is equal to 12 minus B. Set of students who use Twitter only minus B. T equal to 12 minus 2 by substitution. Then, T is equal to 10. The set of students who use Facebook only. Next is P. Perform indicated operations. Finally, the last letter of the acronym DEOPA is A. Answer what are being asked. How many students used Facebook only? Correct. 13 students. How many students used Twitter only? Correct. 10 students. How many students used both social networking sites? Correct. 2 students. Did you arrive at the correct answer? Great job! Now for your assignment, Answer the problems item number 1 to 6 found on page 17 in your modules. Use a separate sheet of paper. I hope you get my instructions. So, just a quick recap. Today, we have learned to solve problems involving sets using Venn diagram by following the DEOPA. D stands for Determine what are being given and what are being asked. I stands for illustrate the Venn diagram. O stands for the operations to be used. P stands for perform the indicated operations. And A 
answer the questions. It has been the fun minutes of learning. I am Teacher Pearl Faith Pagas saying, Dito sa TV Eskwela, sa pag-aaral, sama-sama. Bye-bye!